Welcome to Ascension Live, which happens every Monday on Facebook, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, and every Friday on Instagram, 6 p.m. Mountain Time. <clears throat> Welcome to the first moment of the best of your life. We are in resonance with an eternal moment. This moment is the microcosmic container of the whole of eternity. Anything to be known about eternity or experienced within the foreverness of eternity can be accessed through this now moment. Through the now reality of your soul, your being, each and every one of us the microcosmic container of the macrocosmic all that is. Today's subject is alchemy. Alchemy, transforming poison into potion, 
transforming darkness into light, transforming pain into bliss, the sacred alchemy where we take something of lesser value and we transform it into a higher something. We want to receive the infinite blessings from the all dimensional appreciation and love for our being and creations. The all dimensional appreciation and love. There is a love and appreciation for each and every one of us and the totality of all of us that is generated from the all dimensionality of life. Everywhere and every when, from beginningless beginning to endless end, there is a focalization of appreciation and love for that which we are. Let us receive the transformational alchemy to up-level the appreciation for our being. Let us up-level our patience for our stumbling and falling and for our hesitations in life, even when things are not moving as swiftly as we would like for them to move. Let's engage in the alchemical appreciation of aligning in consciousness for the reality of that something that we want, even before its crystallization. We dance in the resonance of the sacred alchemy. And one of the wonderful ways in which we are able to up-level who we are and multiply the value of our being is through the dance of relationship. So I have a selection from my book that I call, uh, well, the book itself, the title is uh, Miraculous Song of Ascension. But the title of the selection that I'm going to share with you is Healing Through relationship because relationship is one of the greatest access codes to the alchemy because when we're in relationship we're having a rendezvous with God we're dancing with divinity healing through relationship relationship is a vessel for the journey of love that leads back to safety that leads back to heaven. When harmony exists in relationship, there is centeredness and the absence of strife. Inharmonious relating leads to ill health at the mental emotional levels. There is no such thing as genuine health without healthy relationships. Three important ingredients for healthy relationships are self-love, forgiveness and trust. Who can sincerely love anyone without first loving themselves? Relationships reflect back to us how we feel about ourselves. A mirror will not show you a reflection that is not your own. Relationships are mirrors. Many people have strong self-hatred, yet desperately want others to love them. 
If we have fear that we'll never be loved, fear becomes the reflection of self-hatred and the attitude of not deserving love. How can we gain love when we give more attention to fear and pain? Fear is a form of faith, but it is faith in the worst that life has to offer. When we honor our equality with all life, we are self-loving. When we give ourselves credit for even the smallest accomplishment, we are self-loving. When we cease to judge life and instead honor the highest that exists in all life, we are self-loving because all life is the rest of who we are. Some of us would make love and happiness our prize, yet are unwilling to forgive the people with whom we have had painful relationships. If we don't forgive the past, we can't trust the present, and we then attract a future untrustworthy and unpleasant. What we resent, we don't learn from, and we will have to learn it over. When we forgive, we increase our relationship equity, much like a house that appreciates in value and can be sold for more money. So will the quality of our relationships grow. Let us again trust in love, happiness, and healthy relationships, because if we spread distrust, we will have to wed the un trust that that is we will if we spread distrust we will have to wed the distrustful <laughs> got a little tongue tied for a minute but that's okay too self-love is the key always so that's one of the greatest alchemies in life is you know the alchemy of relationship you know when we're in that relationship dance in a harmonious way and in the recognition that we're dancing with divinity so we treat we treat the beloved like a creator source a facet of our creator then we are able to emerge from the cocoon like the butterfly that emerges out of the caterpillar who went into the cocoon to invoke the sacred alchemy. And look at the difference of the territory. The territory of the butterfly is so much vaster than the ter territory of the caterpillar. Not that one is better than the other because they are two facets of one something. And the butterfly is built upon the foundation of the caterpillar. And that is a great alchemy. And that's one of the things that we are able to do and experience by virtue of our relationships is we are able to emerge into a greater vastness of our beingness because we come together to reveal one another to each other. So honor the alchemy of relationship. In relationship, there is you and me, and then there is us. That is the wisest component of any relationship. It is the us factor. That is the combination of both energies. And so then we experience the alchemy of rising above the exclusive value of one's individual self to the all-inclusive value of the combination of the two beings that come together to dance in that relationship. When you're in a relationship, 
Again, there's you, there's me, there's us, and us is wiser than you, and us is wiser than me, and us has got your back, and us has got my back. Us won't try to get over on you, and us won't try to get over on me, and us is a faster access code to the interconnectedness with the domain of heaven, and God, God is absolute faster than me, faster than you, because us is the combination of both energies. So let us rise into the resonant connection with the great us in the relationship dance. That's why when beloveds are deeply in love in the early stages of a relationship in what we call the honeymoon stage of the relationship, each one is treating the other one like God because there's an innate knowingness that they are in fact dancing with divinity. So we're always having a rendezvous with God. So even if we share love or we share something and it doesn't seem to be reciprocated by the individual with whom we share that, let us be in the awareness that we're not only sharing it exclusively with that beloved. Yes, we're sharing it with them, but we're also sharing it through them with the all that is, with God, God is absolute. We're dancing with divinity and creator source always appreciates the love that we share will always reciprocate the blessing of love back to us. And sometimes that blessing of love will find its way to us through a completely different individual source than the one that we initially shared with. So we don't ever want to go into resentment because someone didn't match the way that we love or the way that we shared because in truth we were sharing with the all-inclusiveness of God, God is absolute in the whole of the universe. So let's dance in the divinity of the sacred alchemy and rise into the eternal magnitude of who we really are. I chose the subject alchemy because we just had a new moon in Scorpio. New moon is when the moon and the sun conjunct combining their energies and of course that is one of the greatest celestial representations of relationship you know sun being male and, and uh, masculine and moon being feminine coming together to reveal one another to each other as the moon reflects the sun and this particular new moon was very particularly powerful because it receives the energy of Pluto of Jupiter and Saturn all feeding very powerfully into this new moon. And so what that means for each of us is that that which we really sincerely focus our intention upon has a tremendous amount of energy in, in order to find its way into manifestation. Because we got Pluto in the mix, you know, that which enables us to engage in the alchemy to transform the poison into potion, you know, and to recognize that at the central core of whatever the difficulty is, we find the solution to the difficulty. Just like when one experiences a snake bite, the anti-venom that brings about the healing is actually made from the venom itself. So the very healing of the snake bite exists within the snake venom but it has to be taken through the alchemical process so that it then becomes morphed into a healing elixir. And so it is with all of the trials and tribulations of life, all of the difficulties of life, all of the pain of life, the very solution to that pain always exists within the central core, just like the exquisite calm that exists in the central core of the turbulent storm. The eye of the storm is a place of exquisite calm. And that place of calm has the capacity to tame that turbulence into alignment with the calm and the stillness. So I'm going to conclude this one with some didgeridoo. As I offer this didgeridoo, I'd like for you to align with what it is that you want to bring about in your own personal alchemy. What do you want to bring into manifestation? We are calling through these sound resonances, allegiance and alignment with the whole of the universe, even unto God, God is absolute. Thank you. 
divine creator for this wonderful opportunity to come together and align with the sacred alchemy. Thank you for giving us the presence of mind and heart to remember who we really are and to love ourselves with the passion of heaven and to be aligned with the all dimensional appreciation and love for our being and our creations. To be aligned with the all dimensional patience that is the expectation of inspiration that knows that no matter how long our period of gestation is, how long we're pregnant with our blessings, that they will be born alive. Thank you for the faith. Thank you for the courage. Thank you for the wisdom. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the brotherhood and the sisterhood. Thank you for the celestial honoring and the terrestrial honoring of ourselves. We are so grateful, Divine Creator, and gratitude to you, beloveds, for co-creating with me. Thank you for visiting my website, Astarius.com. A great number of musical albums I have there, as well as a couple of books. I'm available for intuitive astrological readings, as well as sound healing transmissions with uh, didgeridoo vocal harmonics, as well as uh, Reiki. And uh, I also teach Reiki, located here in the Red Rocks of Sedona. I do my work in person as well as virtually. Thank you all for your donations. Many of you have been so kind sending donations, which I receive via Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, as well as a donation button on my website. Aho Ashe, Amen Namaste. Hotep in Lakeshalak in Shalom, Satnam Hariom Rastafari. Your sacred juice is a cooked and infinitely expanding juice to far eye, bliss to far eye. Gonna always have many miles on your smile, wiggle in your giggle, tingling in your boots, laughter ever after, put in your strut, wings on your butt, cause you're always rising up, up at the top. There's room for all, it's just the bottom that's crowded, y'all, and so it is, and so it shall eternally be. I love you so much.